If you're wondering why your hair does this when you try to slick your hair back, then I'm gonna help answer some questions for you today. So if you're one of those people who likes to wear a slick back and then all of a sudden, you know, an hour or not even, your hair starts to split down like this and it's very frustrating to you, well, it's probably because of a few reasons, okay? One, that that's where your natural part is. And the natural part means that is where the hair wants to naturally split and part. And it happens to every human being. We all have our natural parting. But one of the reasons that it does this is also because of your hair being very long. And the longer your hair is, the more it wants to weigh it down and create that natural separation. So if you are wearing a hairstyle like this, or your hair is this long and you're trying to slick it back, it's because the hair is heavy and it wants to naturally separate. So that's basically it. The second thing is because you're not using a strong enough product. So you may want to use something like a cream gel or a waxier type product, something that really has a lot of hold and tack to it that's not gonna be super, super pliable because the more pliable it is, that means you can work your hands through it and what may happen is it may loosen up. So again, it, the weight of the hair may actually be going against the product and again, wanting to split like this. So try something that's a bit more on the waxier side or a very strong cream gel. Like I have one called Power Cream, which is like bulletproof hold, but it is more of a traditional gel in a cream form. So it's a great product uh, for that kind of thing. Next is when are you actually applying the product to your hair? So if you're one of those people who slicks your hair back, then applies the product to it like this, while it's still wet, then combs it into place, and then that's it, well, guess what? You're not really shaping the style into position first, and as the hair dries, there's no direction to it. You didn't really do anything other than comb it while the hair is wet and the water-based product, possibly, if it's a water-based product, it just is gonna absorb into the hair and it, it's not really gonna penetrate and do what the product needs to do. So my suggestion is apply product when your hair is dry, and also, you may wanna take a brush, like something like this, like a vent brush, and literally, or a paddle brush, and, and blow dry the hair back. So take your blow dryer, I would say comb it this way, or brush the hair this way, and then also brush the hair this way when it's wet and while you're blow drying it, because what you wanna do is you wanna create almost an unnatural part. You wanna, you wanna break against where your hair naturally splits, and then that, is how you kind of combat the natural parting. Blow dry the hair all back, take the blow dryer nozzle and bring it back and keep doing that throughout the entire top of the head until your hair is dry. Then bring the hair all forward, bring the hair all backwards with the blow dryer and what you're gonna see is that the hair almost has no natural parting. It just moves where you want to. Then at that point, I would suggest applying the product when the hair is fully dry and then maybe working your fingers into it also, maybe when you're brushing the hair, brush it, instead of brushing it straight back, comb the hair over to the side a bit like this, all right? And try to maneuver the hair a little bit more so that you're actually combing the hair in a different direction than what it naturally goes in, so you're kind of tricking the hair. And then over time, throughout the day, as you can see here, it's not going to split. I hope you found this tip helpful. Let me know in the comments below if this was a lifesaver for you guys. And lastly, I'm not going to be seeing you until probably New Year's Day because tomorrow is New Year's Eve and uh, I'm not doing a video till Wednesday, but I wish each and every one of you guys a very safe, a very healthy and happy New Year. I wanna thank you all for your support and you know I wouldn't be here without your viewership and without you watching my videos. So I really, really, truly appreciate and love all you guys. And that's pretty much it. So let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy New Year. Here's to 2020. And I'll see you next time for more videos with the Salon Guy.